How you doing everybody? My name is Dr. Sami Baya. Please welcome back to my YouTube channel. Signs and symptoms of covert narcissist mother. That is the title of this video. Covert narcissists are people who have this exaggerated sense of self-importance. They lack empathy for others and they have excessive need for admiration and attention. But one thing about covert narcissists is that they hide these traits behind a facade of humility. A facade of victimhood or shyness. In short, covert narcissists, they appear shy and they love playing the victim card. So a mother who is a covert narcissist, they appear caring, they appear supportive, but that is on the surface. But inside them, in reality, the fact of the matter, the truth of the matter, a covert narcissist is the number one manipulator. She's highly controlling and she exploits her children for her own selfish needs, for her own selfish desires. The covert narcissist might use very indirect forms of emotional abuse. She will use tactics of manipulation such as guilt tripping, blame shifting, playing the victim card, gaslighting, passive aggressive behavior, triangulation, future faking. They do this to maintain power they do this to control their children. The covert narcissist mother is very difficult to spot. It's, they are very hidden. But they are very manipulative in their ways. A covert narcissist mother will do anything to hide their true motives. And they always make it appear that you are too sensitive. Or they make it appear that you are overreacting whenever you try to confront them about their covert narcissism. In short, what I'm saying is that covert narcissists are very difficult, very hard to spot than other types of narcissists. The covert narcissists will have this face of being the perfect mother. They'll have this face of being a very loving mother. They'll have this face of being very, very um, kind, caring, empathetic but when they are hidden behind those closed doors the covert narcissist mother is highly demanding she's highly controlling she's very manipulative the covert narcissist mother believes that others envy her others are jealous of her but she's the one who's extremely jealous of her children she sees the, her children as a threat to her own sense of self-importance the covert, covert narcissist will do everything and anything she can to undermine the achievements and independence of her children. So when we talk about a covert narcissist mother, we are talking about a woman who is very different from the normal standard narcissist mother. A covert narcissist mother may not be as obvious to you or to your eyes as, just, as other narcissists. They appear caring, they appear nurturing on the surface. But the true motivations, the true intentions of the narcissist who is a covert mother is rooted in the need for them to control their children. The covert narcissist mother wants admiration from her children. They want acknowledgement, constant validation. So, some of the traits of a covert narcissist, of a covert narcissist mother might include, ex, uh, might, might include them being extremely sensitive to criticism. And they have this high need for validation and, and attention. They have this tendency to manipulate others. They have this sense of entitlement. They have the passive-aggressive behavior. And, above all, they love playing the victim card. They lack boundaries. They don't respect boundaries. A covert narcissist mother is self-centered. They are highly focused on themselves. A covert narcissist mother is highly focused on her own needs. She is highly self-absorbed. And her interactions with the others are often driven by her own desires and goals. A covert narcissist mother lacks empathy. They struggle to understand or respond to the emotions of others. They are dismissive to the feelings of their children or to the feelings of other family members. And they don't provide the emotional support that others need. 
a covert narcissist mother is a master manipulator they use subtle forms of manipulation to control and influence those around them they are highly skilled at using manipulative tactics such as guilt tripping shaming to get what they want covert narcissist mothers always present a false image of themselves to others they are, they are highly skilled at presenting a public face that is totally different from their private personality Covert narcissistic mothers have deep-seated feelings of insecurity or inadequacy. And they use their children or other family members to bolster their own sense of self-worth or to compensate for their own perceived shortcomings. Covert narcissist mothers are quick to blame others for their problems or shortcomings. They are highly critical of their children or other family members. And they quickly assign blame for any perceived failures to others. So covert narcissist mothers may be highly enmeshed with their children. They treat them more like extensions of themselves rather than, in, rather than treating them as independent individuals. They also have this difficulty in setting appropriate boundaries and they are highly controlling of their children's lives. So when you're dealing with a covert narcissist mother, you realize that she's very critical of her children. And she will rarely give them compliments. A covert narcissist mother will demand a lot from her children. And they are overly demanding. They are, they are very controlling. They want to be in charge of everything that her children do. She will guilt trip the children. She will go on an emotional blackmail on her children to get what she wants from them. They are very manipulative and they will twist words. They will twist situations to make... Her children feel guilty. Covert narcissist mother. The covert narcissist mothers are more subtle and manipulative in their dealings with their children than the general narcissistic mothers. They lack self-confidence and they have low self-esteem. So the covert narcissist mothers are very good at hiding their true motives and intentions. And the main goal of a covert narcissist mother is to make themselves look good in front of others. So when you're dealing with a covert narcissist mother, just know that what she loves most is using guilt as a tool of controlling her children. They make their children feel responsible for their emotional well-being by using guilt to pressure their children into doing things that they don't want to into, into those children doing things that they don't want to do. The covert narcissist mother will always prioritize her own needs. They prioritize their own needs over their children's needs. They might fail to attend important events for the children or dismiss their children's needs as not being important. They struggle with boundaries. The covert narcissist mother will always try to seek control of their children's lives. They want to control everything about their children. They want to make decisions for their children. And they also lack genuine interest in their children. They appear interested in their children's lives, but that interest is often very shallow and it is selfish, self-serving. They are only interested in their children's achievements or they are using their children's successes to boost their own ego. They don't genuinely care about their children as individuals. And covert narcissist mothers will always try to engage in emotional blackmail. You know, Blackmailing is one of their manipulative tactics that they use to control their children. They manipulate their children by threatening to withhold affection. They threaten their children by with by by they, they blackmail their children by threatening to withhold love or support unless those children comply with their demands or conform to their expectations. And to summarize this video. If you want to quickly identify a covert narcissist within a one, one second, just know that they love playing the victim card. They're always playing the victim. When you confront the covert narcissist with their own bad behavior, when you hold them accountable for their actions, they will blame you instead. They will project on you and they will play the victim. They will twist the situation to make themselves appear innocent. They will twist the situation to make themselves appear as if they have been unfairly treated 
and they'll deflect responsibility and they'll avoid accountability. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've learned a thing or two. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you. Catch you later in the next video.